Hi, my name is Melinda Waters, and I am going to be going over chapter 13 that we went through this week in the introduction to mass communications class. So chapter 13, it goes over the theories and effects of mass communication. Um, normally I do a blog, but I kind of wanted to switch it up this week, so I'm doing a vlog. And after reading the chapter and watching all three of the videos that were attached, one piece of this chapter really stuck out to me because of how prevalent it is in our society. And that is the Gerbner's cultivation theory. So the Gerbner's cultivation theory is where we see something in media or in movies or TV shows, etc., and we continuously see it over and over again, and that becomes our perception of how we look at something. So if we look at, if it shows in movies and um, the media is telling us a certain thing about a certain type of people over and over again, then we're going to start to believe that, and we're going to start to think that about those people, and we're going to have those stereotypes. And so... I thought that the best way that I can think of it to put these pieces together was how minstrel shows. So this was in the early 19th century and um, it was a form of racist entertainment. And so that's where white actors would put on blackface and they would get on stage and they would act out and put on this show for other white people for their entertainment. And they showed African Americans as dim-witted, as lazy, um, just stupid. That's how they wanted to portray African Americans and they did so. And in that sense, people heard that over and over and over and over and over again through the media. And so that's how they began to see African Americans. So then we fast forward to our generation and the time that we're living in right now. And although there is still so much progress that needs to be made and there's just so much that our country and our world needs to work on, we are seeing a turn in media and we're getting more movies for black power and giving whole movies dedicated to African Americans and the struggle that they go through in their daily life. And it shines a light for people who don't have to go through that every day. It shines a light on what they have to go through every single day in their light life and in the media and through these movies that are being made it's changed a lot of people's opinions it's changed a lot of hearts because we are now seeing over and over and over again that black is beautiful black power we're seeing all of these slogans all of this we're seeing you know, the movie, the big hit, Black Panther. We're seeing a whole superhero movie dedicated on African Americans and their strength and their power. And although it is a superhero movie, it's still just so powerful for the black community. And I just really thought that that connection came very strongly to me when I was researching and looking over Gerbner's cultivation theory. Um, so I really hope that this um, helps anybody and that um, we can all take a step closer to making everybody feel equal and loved in their skin and their bodies and wherever they go. Thank you.